I'm going to take you back out to this historic spacewalk, this attempt here, this historic attempt that we have been following all morning long. You have four people that are on board SpaceX's Polaris Dawn. They are preparing for this mission. We are taking you this we are taking you to this live this morning. And um, they are probably about, Eric, mm, I would say if we're following the timeline there on SpaceX, momentarily oh. we're going to see that open. Oh, literally they, as we're talking right now and on the air. They are opening the hatch. This is history. Let's listen in for a moment. You'll hear them talking to the first person who will be leaving the craft, as referring to him as EV-1. That is the billionaire Jared Isaacman, who is the mission commander. Let's listen in. Center of the hatch actually has a window. Copy. Copy. We we see it. Looking out that tiny window there in the forward hatch, knowing he is going to have a much bigger window in just minutes. So it does appear they're going through what are several checks yes. in the process of actually exiting that spacecraft. They have been in the process of depressurization for days now. They have been in the final checks and making sure those suits are ready to go. There are several checks that happen before they actually exit the spacecraft because there's so much risk. This is so uh, uncharted. This is pushing the envelope in space exploration. So they want to make sure everything is done safely and properly. Yes, and you know this as we've been talking about all morning long. You are watching history live here on Local 10. You know the crew first launched into space on Tuesday. Obviously now here today on Thursday at 6:48 a.m. We are waiting for them to leave that capsule. And let's take you back live now in terms of so we can listen in there. You have the command center off to the left of the screen. Well, it's interesting when we lose live pictures of the actual mm -hmm. spacewalk and what's happening on the Dragon X. It's a very basic reason that we deal with all the time. No signal. Yeah. They're not using the Starlink satellites to communicate with the Dragon space capsule. So there's just a situation sometimes. Remember, they're hurtling through Earth's orbit at about 17,000 miles an hour. So there are times when they lose that connection point, that direct connection to the ground stations that are providing the communication and certainly the live feed. So when we see the uh, these pictures from SpaceX's live feed of what's happening, it's just because they too have had some communication and certainly visual communication loss in the live stream with that capsule. And just you know, just a quick you know reminder here is just what Eric was saying in terms of this is something that we haven't seen and experienced before, reminding you that this crew flew to the highest orbital altitude that, that humans have reached since the news, final uh, Apollo moon mission. That was back in 1972. Feel. So this is something that we have feel. not seen feel. before. Feel. We are all experiencing this feel. for the feel. first feel. time. And obviously there are so many goals feel. of this space mission as well in terms of the ability to be able to then uh, take and go even further in terms of future missions to the moon and eventually Mars. Yeah, so we're, we're really obviously in the throes of, of watching the day, right? this so as they are experiencing this for the first time. And we're going to obviously going to stay with this live for you here on Local 10 throughout the rest of the morning. But we also do have a whole lot of other stuff that we've got to get to, right? All the cheering oh, means. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Just I was about to go to Julie. Here we go. No, don't come to me. Yeah. No. Well, they know something. They have yeah. seen something that we haven't been able to come see live us. yet. Yay! The hatch is open. Woohoo! All four of those crew members, Julie, now exposed to the Every vacuum time. of space. Wow. Just imagine the Why view that they're seeing right now. Oh that truly is amazing. And oh, so we're going to keep watching this for you. Julie, I know we do have to get to your I forecast. Know. I don't we're going to come on back. No, I know you do. I we have to deal with the atmosphere that we have on a daily basis, <laughs> Julie. Know.